Hi parents, we are now in chapter 5. This chapter is an introduction to multiplication and division. It doesn't go too deep into it because it's just an introduction. The succeeding chapters will focus more on the specific multiplication tables. But for now, everything that we will be doing will be based on figures. Multiplication technically is number of groups times items per group equals total items. Okay, so for now, we will call this number of groups times items per group equals total items. Okay, but it could also be items per group times number of groups equals total items. Okay, so again, this is items per group times number of groups equals total items. Okay, so to in order for our kids not to be so confused, it's best to really follow the first. However, the book goes over both. Um, this is in preparation for the different multiplication tables. Okay, so eventually you will see that we will be working out of these three things. Um, but for now, since it's more of visual learning, uh, we will just continue looking and counting what's in the pictures. Okay, so our example comes from page 77. Okay, so it says, how many clips are there all together? So it gives us four boxes. And each one has three clips. Okay, and then the question is this. It says blank plus blank plus blank. Okay, so we need to fill this out. So multiplication is technically a, a repeated addition. So that's technically 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. And therefore, at this point, what we need to have our children do is just to count what's inside the box. But in the next chapter, they need to be able to multiply it out already. So if we count, that will be 12 clips. Okay, so the multiplication version of that is number of groups. So that's the first, number of groups. Items per group is 3, which is technically, in total, that will be 12. So this is the introduction to multiplication. Okay, in the same problem, they give you three boxes. And they're showing you that it will be the same answer. So the three boxes this time has four items inside. Okay, so this is blank. Okay, so clearly this is four plus four plus 4, which is when you add together, is also 12. So again, if we follow the first, number of groups will be 3. Items per group will be 4. In total, that will be 12. Okay, now, uh, the book doesn't teach us this. This is Michelle's version. And again, if we start teaching our kids with this strategy, they will find it so useful. So for now, since it's all visual learning, it's okay not to use yet. But you want to start training the kids with the visual aid to be able to identify what number of groups are, items per group, and total items, so that when there's no more pictures, they know what to do. That concludes lesson one of chapter five. See you in the next lesson.